Ricardo Escobar here. This is going to be a short video about how to actually install the MariaDB database engine into Windows. I'm using Windows 10 at the moment, 64 bit. The first thing you need to go, uh, you need to do is open the web browser, whatever you have, Firefox, I'm using Google Chrome, and go to mariadb.org. So after that, uh, you're going to see the usual. Uh, you need to click OK on the on the website uh, cookies. Let's get that out of the way. Um, you may think that um, it would be a straightforward process. It is not, um, sadly. So you need to click here on the download button. The download is not going to start. You're going to be taken into this secondary um, uh, website uh, where you can actually see who is sponsoring the project here. That doesn't really matter. Um, you are going to be downloading the version for Windows uh, 10. So you click here on the download button and that's not going to be starting the download. You're going to be taken here where the actual list of the versions is going to show up here. Um, we are going to be downloading at the time of this recording MariaDB 10.4 series. Uh, this is the last stable uh, release for the moment. Um, if you click on the download button again here, the download is not going to start. You are going to be needing to go here. Um, and once you click uh, on the download button here again, you're going to be taken here and you're going to see uh, a lot of links. So to keep things simple, uh, the, the, the thing you actually need to do right now is to look at the operating system list here. And we are going to be looking for Windows. So we are going to click on the checkbox mark here. And we still have a, quite a long list as, uh, quite a long list after uh, filtering that. Yet what we are interested in is in the installer. So um, we do have a, a SID versions. What we are going to be looking for is the MSI package. So uh, depending on the version of Windows installation that you have, um, depending on if it's a 32-bit uh, version of Windows 10 or a 64 version, um, 64 bits version, uh, that depends on what you are going to be installing. I do have a Windows 10 uh, uh, 64 bits, so I'm going to be downloading this one. Uh, you are not sure what version of Windows do you have. Um, you can go here and, and, and go to the Windows menu and look for the uh, system information. And there, uh, on the long list, you are going to um, see to the, uh, it's in Spanish, but never mind. Um, the, the, it's, uh, here, I can read that I do have a Windows 10. 64 bit base PC. So that means that I need to download this one here, MariaDB, uh, the version number, Windows uh, 64 bit. So I'm going to be downloading this one here. And lastly, I'm going to be uh, choosing the downloads folder. And after the downloads finishes, there we go. Uh, you are taken into this section here. You don't need to fill this out. Uh, this is, if you want, you can fill this out. Uh, once the download is over, click on the installer, and now we can proceed to the actual installation of the MariaDB uh, database engine. What's this? Never mind. Uh, let's click next. I accept the license agreement because I already read, read this. Yeah, sure. Um, make sure that the entire feature uh, is going to be installed by default. It should be um, nothing else you should need to do here. Uh, it's going to install this IDE, which is for free on Windows platforms. It's called HeyDSQL. I'm not going to be using this, but never mind. Next. So here you're going to be asked for a, a root um, password for your database. Um, modify the password for database user root. I I actually um, suggest you to 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 change the, the root password, I'm going to use one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and enable access from remote machines for root user. 
since I'm going to be installing this for learning purposes, uh, I'm going to allow this. Uh, this checkbox mark is going to be uh, required later if you wish to uh, create an, a Java application or a C sharp application or whatever application um, you wish to develop. And if you want to actually connect to the database, you are going to need to check this uh, checkbox here. Uh, use UTF-8 as the four servers uh, character set. Yeah, why not? Um, UTF-8 is basically the standard anyway. So let's go for it and let's click next. Um, the install as a service, I'm going to leave everything as is. Uh, the page size is going to be as default. Why not? And this is really important here. Uh, you actually need to to copy the service name and the TCP port name um, uh, into a sheet of paper, whatever you want. Uh, this is basically uh, 3306 is basically the default port for MySQL and MariaDB. So uh, just keep in mind that you need to, um, to take note of this number uh, here anyway. So... Enable the feedback plugin and submit anonymous users. This is, uh, I'm going to enable this. You don't need to do it. Uh, I may like to give information about my usage to the MariaDB guys, the staff here. Click next. And that's pretty much it. You just need to wait until the installer finishes um, doing its job. And that's pretty much it. Okay, now that the installation is over, uh, we just click finish. And if I recall, some uh, you need to restart your computer maybe, and an icon is going to appear over here. Uh, let me see if I can actually, if I can actually check out the uh, the version of the of MariaDB. There we go. It's actually working here. Okay. Oops. So you can actually see if you have MariaDB installed and running. Um, you don't actually, let me see very quickly. There we go. Let's check the version. And uh, okay, so I can basically get inside the um, MariaDB from the command line. I'm going to do that. Here uh, and the password is going to be uh, one two three four. Maybe I need to make this uh, together. No, never mind. Oops. Well, never mind. So you're working on Windows. Um, there is an, uh, a way to actually connect e easier to the MariaDB command prompt. You just type in the MariaDB um, after installation. You should be able to see this one here, uh, command prompt for MariaDB. So you click on that. And uh, basically that should be um, opening the environment for your MariaDB. I, I think I just uh, messed up here. Maybe it's this one, MySQL client. There we go. Well, this is it. Um, forget about uh, the command prompt before. That's not it, I'm sorry. Um, uh, it's actually my SQL client. Uh, let's remember that MariaDB is actually a fork from the ancient MySQL original project now owned by Oracle. So um, a lot of things um, can be used as is. You are working with MySQL anyway. So uh, I'm going to type in one, two, three, four for my password here. And now I am inside the MariaDB. I can see the version number here. And you already have uh, installed successfully the MariaDB um, database engine for Windows 10 64-bit. 